Wonderful, but guess what? We didn't need it. We could cr crawl anywhere we wanted. So, but it is nice that you're carrying me around. That, that, that's much more convenient. Thank you very much. You know, Galleons are technically a symbiotic species. It seems like we evolved to fit right in the hand of most other aliens. It's oh, you're back. Hey, yeah, my leg's still very broken. You. Hey, how's it hanging, pal? Remember, anytime you want to go to the slums, I'm your guy. Drugs will be eradicated. And that's the Clug Nugman promise. Thanks to our new Keep Blim City Clean initiative, we've managed to keep drugs like... We're the gun shooters. New episode of Gun Shooters. Three of us, and we all shoot guns at bad guys. Huh, why is the door closed? Gun shooter. I'm Terry. Also gun Who is it? You got my munch dash delivery? What? No, it's us. Oh, shit. Really? Good job. Oh, hold on. Is that Jane? Okay, get ready. I want you to stab me right into his fat little belly. Guns and hurt bad guys. Let me tell you, Jeffrey, I'm excited because I got a new gun I've been dying to What the hell, Gene? He installed new locks because he assumed you'd get killed. He keeps saying it's his house now. What? No. I just took the liberty of upgrading your security. Did you really kill Nine Talk, though? Yeah, we actually did. Well, well, well. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm really blown away. I'll be honest with you. I expected you to die. Oh, thank you. So, what did it feel like? Killing nine talk. Look, I gotta be honest, it felt good. It felt great. I mean... Hey, Gene, lift up that shirt and expose your soft little belly for me. I'm coming in hot. Yeesh. Forgot how psycho he was. Why don't you just, uh, hold on to him for now? Oh, sure, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep him far away from you. Yeah, thanks. Now, uh, go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. I got it all set up for you. No, seriously, let me stab him. <laughs> Well, there you go. You're a real bounty hunter now. Huh, would you look at that? I, I guess we're really doing it. Yeah, I didn't expect you to get your footing so quick. I don't even have any leads on any G3 bounties. You ever, uh, serious about going after them, huh? You bet. Well, we'll take them all down, including Garmantuous. Well, you're welcome to try, and if you do, you might want to go to the pawn shop and buy back the Dodge unit I pawned off. Forgot to tell you about it. Go scrounge up some pesos and buy that, or whatever else tickles your fancy. I'll have some G3 bounties ready for you by the time you get back. Sure, sounds good. Thanks, Gene. Just maybe next time don't assume we're just gonna die. Right. Got it. We're the Gun Shooters. A new episode of Gun Shooters. There's three of us and we all shoot guns at bad guys. You're really gonna need that dodge. Gun Shooter? I'm Jerry. What, while you were off murdering a gang lord in the slums? How is it down there? Any cool shops, or is it just sort of depressing? Everyone up here just makes the slum sound really depressing. I'm probably just gonna not go down there, to be honest. But it is pretty crazy you killed a gang lord. And she was a woman, though. Not very feminist of you to kill a woman in power. Welcome to Human TV! Your number one choice for the skin! Look, I know Mr. Keeps annoying, but you gotta put up with him and buy back that Dodge unit. That's a lug locks.
Gene said you might have the old Dodge unit that goes with this bounty suit. Oh, yeah. We got that. Why? You want it? I want it, too. So it'll cost you. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we, we know how buying stuff works. There you go, one Dodge unit. Have a nice life! All right, we got it. Let's try this bad boy out and then head back to Gene. Great, you got the Dodge unit. So how about it? Think you're ready for the big leagues, kid? What, what do you mean? The big league, the G3 cartel. That's the next step, taking down their head officers. Okay, um, are you, are you're positive that we're ready for that? Yeah, whatever, might, might as well try. But they won't be pushovers like Nine Torque, so, uh, well, to be honest, I don't care if you live or die. You know that, you know my whole deal. But, uh, hey, it's your funeral. So go check out the Bounty 5000 whenever you're ready. Got two G3 leads for you right now. Krubus and Douglas. You can pick which one you want to let kill you first. Okay, now the cartel knows we're here. Whoa, Ruth, never mind. Whew. Wow, they only brought me here a couple of times. Looks like they haven't ruined this part of the jungle yet. Listen, if any part of you is feeling bad about killing these little mites, don't. Uh, leading scientists looked into it and uh, they, they, they have no feelings. They, you know, they're just like, I don't know, what do you have on your planet? Like fish? Does that, did that translate right? Translator microbes. We're gonna kill you, you fucking mites! Creepy crawly bastard!
Oh, these things. Okay, do you know what fan plants are? You shoot the little bud, and then the the thing does the thing it does, and and you know what? You'll 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 figure it out. Okay, yeah, you you figured it out. I can't hear you, I'm heading into a tunnel. No, I'm just kidding, just some uh, cell phone humor, just to lighten the mood, you know? Oh, a Fergal den. Oh man, you, you, you know, you actually have a lot in common with these guys. You know, aside from all the hair, you know, you're both being sold as drugs to, for aliens to get a high off of, you know? You guys are, uh, it's, it's like you're almost related in a way, you know, if you think about it. Jeez, I didn't want to embarrass them back there, but that tunnel reeks of Fergal shit. You're a real tramp train. Oh shit, okay, G3 are warping in. You know, you got me. We, 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 we're good together here. This is great.
you remember how to mantle up that ledge, right? idea. Tr try launching that Merc with the fan plant. Oh, look at him go! Okay, shit, that village is swarming with cartel guys. Ha how do you want to deal with this? I can't believe the Moplets live in this crappy village. Their lives must suck. Yeah, well, we did enslave them. Well, of course their lives suck now, but I mean, they probably sucked before we got here, too. Right, yeah, it's... Oh. Why, why are you even interfering? Just leave the Moplets like being slaves! Who's gonna force the Moplets to work in the mines? You know?
kill them, okay? pushy or anything, but maybe try my glob shot every now and again, you know? Rescue some guys? Hey, listen, guys, we, we got you. You're free now. Go be free. Welcome, welcome. We are Moplets, native to this planet. Our tribe is forever in your debt. Our leader would like to speak with you. Oh, okay, sure. Hello there, Savior. My people were enslaved by the G3 and forced to desecrate the land mining for Fergals. You may have freed this small tribe, but our brethren underground are still being worked to death by Krubis. Krubis? You know, we're actually looking for him to kill? What's this? You aim to take down Krubis of the G3? You are truly a hero to Moplets everywhere. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, where is he? We'll, we'll get rid of him for you. Hmm. That's difficult to answer. His work, though evil, keeps him very busy. He oversees many different minds across Zephyr, and it's impossible to predict where he may be on any given day. My liege, what about the man in the mansion? Ah, of course, a brilliant plan. My advisor is right. There's a man nearby who knows Krubis and has access to a warp device. We may be able to use him. He lives in a mansion across the river. If you could get your hands on his warp device, that could be very useful. Okay, sure, a guy in a mansion, that, 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 that's the plan? Yes, he would appear to be our best chance. Godspeed, savior. What's the guy in the mansion like? Oh, his name is Ranchi Delarmo. He warped in not too long ago. Seems to be old acquaintances with Krubis. We haven't dealt with him much, but he seems to have a penchant for Fergals. Oh, God, he's a drug addict. Nonetheless, we may be able to use that to our advantage. He does have close ties with Krubis, after all, and he seems a bit disoriented. Right, because of the drugs. A and he's evil still, right? Well, yes, he's evil, so it should be morally just. Yes, let's all just agree right now that it's morally just to manipulate him. I love it when we can agree. Hey, thanks for your help. Very well. Godspeed, saviors. Thanks again. It really means a lot to not have to be a slave anymore. Oh man, no problem.
Hey, somebody warped in over here. I bet we can cross now. You're the one who fucked up the coordinates. How are we gonna get this thing out of the river? I fucked them up. I just typed in what you told me to type in. Yeah, you typed it in wrong, dickhead. Now we're flooding. Oh, sure. It's always my fault. You know what? I'm asking for a transfer when we get back. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. G3! Whoa! I'm not G3! I quit! I'm a deserter! I was just flying around here trying to make new friends! Oh, that's cool. But, you know, listen, we're busy. Oh, don't worry! I won't be too much of a bother! It's nice out today, I'd say, you know. But sometimes there's storms that just destroy everything and I have to rebuild my shack and... Oh, it's a nightmare. But I digress, you know, I don't... Did you know that I, I used to work? Actually, I used to work for the G3. Ha! <laughs> ha! Could you believe that? Yeah, and I... I deserted it, obviously, and uh, there's a there's a death warrant out for my arrest, and I'm fine with it! I'm fine with it because I'm happier with the choices I've made today! I've started to take care of the little burgles around my... my sight! Fed them and clothe them! Heal them when they make mistakes. And you know, my mother, oh, she, she always said, oh, you'll join G3 one day. You're not good, but- Whoa, the look at you go! You're really flying, you're trying to copy me! <laughs> I bet you want to be just like me because I'm so cool. Well, tough luck, I'm the only me. Don't try to be me, hey, fuck you! So anyway, I don't even want to get started on her. You have no idea. What it's like to have a mother who doesn't support your dreams! All I ever wanted to be was a jungle beast. Uh oh! Baby can't shoot! Baby keeps sniffing their shots! <laughs> Just nothing with you! I've given you a hard time! I'm sure you'll get it! Oh, like I was saying, I wanted to grab the purple trees and create amazing clothing for the commoners! Here in Zephyr. But no! No one believes in me! No one gave me the Chloroglox to save up! So, I joined the G3 out of desperation! That have way to build something! Anything! I mean, now that was impressive! You're a real pro! Who taught you how to shoot? Because I want to shake their head! I want to kiss them on their big, fat lips! I want to fall in love and marry them and yet have sex! That's normal! It's what you do when you're in love, idiot! Shit, this guy won't stop! So anyway, uh, I'm alone here, to be honest. I'm just in a valley covered with sludge and fergals. But at least the fergals don't judge me. Not like my mother! Oh. I didn't want to get stuck. 
tired of my choices I've made, and my relationships I've had. Oh, Tiffany, oh, I had a real one. She was so pure. She was like an angel. Oh, and then I fucked it up. I lied to her about what I did. She said, Quentin, leave and never come back. Now she's dating some Clint Clark creature. He's got a good job. Good family, and he's in therapy. And he's doing everything he needs to do to be the perfect guy for her. So now I'll never get Tiffany back. I'll just sit here alone in my valley and just think about her. Just wish, pray for the one time our intros can thrust together again. And you know, I just, I, I don't even know where to begin, what her end. I've been all over, just trying to mind my mind, you're thinking in all my mind! Oh, so, so, can you? I want to get started with their lives. Haba, haba, quite the landing. That's not your first time on a zip line, is it? Oh, I didn't think so, because you seem so experienced. You know, I'm tired of just giving and giving. That's why I quit the G3. I, I just couldn't goop another person. Do you know how much it takes out of you to goop someone it hurts? And personally, I only want to goop someone I'm in love with. Make sure they're not using me, because I've dealt with that before. Oh, whoops! I just realized I'm late for my big date. I'm going to go fuck another really hot Gretchen. Wish me luck. It was so nice meeting you. Finally, thank God. I don't know how much more I could have taken.
you to use my glob shot. It's nice to kill something guilt-free, you know? The good thing about bugs is nobody gives a shit if you kill them. Hoo-wee, check out this mansion. How much do you think it costs to maintain a place like this, you know? Yeah. Oh, hey, you made it. You got my fresh Fergals? What? Yeah, this is the guy we're looking for. Come on. Huh, I don't see a warp device on you. <sighs> Come on, is Krubus making you hoof it around on foot? Oh, that cheapskate bastard. Same old Krubus. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Here, I got an extra. Don't let anyone ever tell you Ranchi's not a generous fella, okay? There's an unused warp disc in there, too. You know, warp in whatever's on there. I don't care. It's free of charge. There's a river near here you can probably cross with it. Oh, man, go nuts. <laughs> Warpaholics. <laughs> wow, th thank you. Hey, hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Lean in close. Get close to me, man. I'm sure Krubus told you I'm here on Zephyr to break ground on a new Delarmo Land Resort. Yeah, I'm that ranchy Delarmo, CEO, Delarmo Industries. This one's gonna be even better than the one on Glassboard 12. Trust me, man. That guy's busy as shit, always hopping from site to site. He's got like 30 different mines all across Zephyr. You think I can keep track of that? Fuck. I see him when I see him, okay? I, I wish you'd take some time off, though. Hey, I want to talk to him about Delarmo land. I, I'm sure you've been to Delarmo Land before, probably the flagship Glashborg 12 location, but buddy, you would not believe the regulations we had to abide by over there. Real motherfucking sticklers. So I had a crew you know, make a deal with the G3, and now we're setting up a brand new location here on Zephyr where ain't nobody gonna breathe down our necks about safety protocols or background checks on all the performers. <laughs> and you're probably wondering why nothing's been built yet. Well, I might have got a little bit Sidetrack. Whoa! What the hell are you doing? Pretending to shoot me? <laughs> you crazy fuck. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me. Uh, you really had me going there for a second. Man, you are just like Krubus. Always pranking. Ah, uh, fun stuff. That guy's busy as shit, always hopping from site to site. He's got like 30 different mines all across Zephyr. You think I can keep track of that? Fuck. I see him when I see him, okay? I, I wish you'd take some time off, though. You know? Hey, I want to talk to him about Delarmo Land. I, I'm sure you've been to Delarmo Land before, probably the flagship Glashborg 12 location, but buddy, you would not believe the regulations we had to abide by over there. Real motherfucking sticklers. So I had a crew bus, you know, make a deal with the G3, and now we're setting up a brand new location here on Zephyr where ain't nobody gonna breathe down our necks about safety protocols or background checks on all the performers. <laughs> and you're probably wondering why nothing's been built yet. Well, I might have got a little bit sidetracked. Drawing up blueprints takes a lot out of me, you know? So I unwind with a little Fergal or two. Sue me. But we're making good progress. Yeah? Or will be. Soon. Another thing. 
check out the scale model of the new Delarmo land, because <laughs> it's got a lot of detail. <laughs> it's going to be the planet's only all-inclusive pansexual drug bazaar. On the beach, you can get your rocks off while getting your surf on, and I can have all the Fergals I want. That's just a perk on top of a rock-solid development plan. And once I stop enjoying the perk, I'll get right back to planning this resort any day now. As soon as I've had my fill of the Fergals. Oh, man, Krubus. <laughs> what a guy. Really? I don't smell anything. It That's smells just really fine in here. Man. That shit was like, I don't know, 20 years ago, man. That's how long we've known each other. All right. Okay, we got a warp device. Um, You know, that's going to be helpful. 